Hello everyone, my name is Justin Odisho, and in this Photoshop tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the knockout feature to create text and shape outlines out of other shapes and layers behind it. So beginning with just a photo layer, the first thing I'm going to do is grab my shape tool, the rectangle in this case, and I'll just click and create a rectangle shape over top of our composition. So I can change on the top bar here, the fill and stroke options. In this case, I'm going to make no stroke and I can pick whatever color I want. Let me use kind of a bright red color. From here, I can grab the move tool, kind of position and center things. And then I'm gonna grab my type tool and make sure I'm not clicking in the box. I wanna type a layer outside the box and type in whatever I want. So I'll type out hello. I'm gonna move it over with my move tool, press command T and make it as big or kind of wherever I want to make it. So now that I have my text positioned over my shape or whatever other layers, I'm gonna right click on that text layer and select blending options. Here in the actual blending options section, you should see a drop down menu for knockout. So you have two options, shallow or deep. Shallow will create the transparency only within that your group of layers, whereas deep will take it as far as you can go all the way to the background. But you might notice nothing's happened yet when I've done this. That's because to see the effect, you actually have to take away the fill of your text layer and see the effect in action. So you see at 0% deep knockout, we have a transparency being punched out of the entire image. And if I press OK, the cool part is I can even move this text around wherever I want and that transparency will happen. Now, if I want to kind of protect the background from getting transparent as well, one thing I can do is make it the actual background layer, not just the first layer, by going to layer, new background from layer. And you can tell it's the background layer because this little lock outline appears on it. And that way, this text is only affecting everything up until this point. Or if you didn't do that, you could also group together only the things that you wanted to get punched out. So you could hold shift, grab all those layers that you need and command G to turn them into a group. Not only does this work with text, it also works with shapes as well. So if I was to grab any custom shape or path and create a new shape, right click blending options, knockout and lower the fill, you'll see the same thing happen. Now finally, just to actually demonstrate the difference between shallow and deep, if I create another layer, for example, let's create a new fill layer of a gradient. I'll choose this one to demonstrate. Right now at deep knockout, you see it's going all the way until the background layer that we've set. But if I set it to shallow, you'll see that it stops at this group. So that's where the difference is. You see the shape layer is set to deep, whereas this is shallow, it stops at the first point it can stop or kind of maintains itself within the group. So this is a really useful, quick and easy to use tool to create punch out shapes and effects. And the cool part is it's totally flexible rather than other methods that I've used in the past. So hopefully you enjoyed this quick Photoshop tutorial on how to do knockout text and shapes. If you enjoyed, leave a like on it below. Let me know what you thought in the comments and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned for all of my future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.